and welcome to episode five of Objects in Time. I'm Dr. Thomas Ovik and I'm director of the Stanford History Center and today I'm going to talk about copper lusterware. Now in the earlier episode I talked about silver lusterware. Copper lusterware was available and made during the same time as silver lusterware, basically starting around the 1830s and primarily it was made in England. The main difference between copper lusterware and silver lusterware is obviously the color. So if you see here, rather than the silver luster, we have the copper, and that's actually made by including gold dust in the, in, in the actual finish. Uh, so once again, just like the silver luster had platinum, these have gold. The way to distinguish one of the earlier pieces is there's also this purple that you'll see on the inside of the vessel, which was used almost as an agent to, to lock the uh, glaze down. Copper lusterware obviously comes in a variety of different shapes as you hear, have here. We have large bowls, there are covered dishes, a variety of different pitchers, and essentially they could be assembled to form tea sets. Designs that are very common are the houses that you can see. So you can see these two both have this house design, and you can get that in, in the yellow or in the blue. Sometimes you'll see it in the green. Uh, there are sometimes raised designs, which are probably a little bit later. The earlier painted designs are likely to have been uh, from uh, the 1830 periods. These probably crop, start cropping up around the 1850s and 60s. Later on, the design is actually post-fire paint, so the vessel is actually fired and then the paint is added on the outside. Also, we can apply sort of a, almost like a sandy uh, material to the outside, which gives you this sort of sandy finish, and it is rough, just like sandpaper. Uh, and these also came in different colors. And finally, some of the copper lusterwares actually have uh, scenes on them. Some of the most uh, famous ones from uh, the period that, that are very well desired are those that show, for example, George Washington or Andrew Jackson, uh, historic scenes. This one is really more sort of a pastoral scene. Sometimes also you get some really interesting shapes like this urn shape, but more commonly they are usually pictures uh, of a, a variety of different dimensions. And that sometimes you do get these very large bowls, which you know, who knows what this was actually used for. This is quite large for these. Uh, you don't see them that size very often. Copper lusterware essentially, again, served the same function as silver lusterware. It was a show-off kind of ceramic that was used by middle-class people to basically make it look like they were wealthy and had beautiful items made out of gold. Um, clearly, these aren't. They're ceramic. They are earthenware underneath, just as the silver lusterware. This kind of material basically went out of fashion around 1900, and later manufacturers you'll see are Wade, Pottery, and Allerton, and you can actually see them because they'll actually say on the bottom that they came from those, again, from England. By about 1900, copper lusterware has run its course, um, but it did enjoy, you know, again, almost 70 to 80 years of popularity, and you can still find these pieces today and make your own tea sets out of them.